Hi. Um, hi, everybody. So my name is Julian. Um, I work for AMA. And today we're going to talk about advanced remote solution. Um, so we'll, we'll go through it while we present. But the idea is to find it's an easy AR uh, applicable tool for, for businesses. And, and we have some use cases for you. So, yeah. So AMA is, um, is a global company. We started as a startup uh, in 2013. Um, and now we have offices around the, the world. Um, I'm based in London, but I was in Boston before. Boston is missing N. Um, but I was in Boston, and now we have offices in Bucharest and in Hong Kong. Um, the reason why we have like those different places mainly is because we want to be close to our user. Um, and most of our clients are in France at the moment. Um, I would say maybe 70%, and the rest are UK, US, US based. Um, so, but our solution is being used in 80, uh, 80 countries. And in terms of hardware, so I don't know if any of you knows anything about smart glasses specifically, but um, we work with mainly all the big smart glasses out there. The only one that is not, uh, as you could see, is the Microsoft HoloLens, and, and there is a reason for that. Mainly, um, it doesn't fit our, our business uh, model, and it, um, it's a bit bulky, so for our use cases, it doesn't really work. So the Google Glass is actually our first um, um, glass we worked with. We worked uh, with the Google Glass in a hospital environment, so the use cases were quite interesting. Uh, a doctor in France, um, a surgeon just got um, a mission to learn Japanese doctor how to do a, a process. And he was flying back and forth from Paris to uh, Tokyo, and this is a 12 hour flight, so a long time. And what we did is we built something on smart glasses for him to be able to show what he was doing real time to his doctors back in, in Japan. So that was our first kind of business case. And from there, we um, uh, built to, uh, to all the other smart glasses. So we work with the Realware, the Vuzix. Vuzix is the biggest uh, uh, player in the market at the moment in terms of smart glasses. Um, they, they, they're quite heavy, and it's our, we are the biggest buyer for the Vuzix uh, at the moment. Epson uh, is a new French uh, uh, company, Fujitsu, ODG, and um, also other type of cameras. In terms of our, so what we do now, you might be wondering what we do because I, I did not explain that, but I will. Um, so quite simply, you have an engineer on site um, who has a, a, any type of struggle. He's gonna be able to put the glasses and he's gonna be able to s show what he's seeing real time, uh, live. So as you can see on the diagram on, on the left, on the right, um, he is looking at a machine and he is showing to somebody who is remote um, what he's looking at. And this happens very often in the business where the right person is not at the right area. So this is the base of our solution. Um, the connection through the, the, it's done through, of course, through internet, a 3G, 4G network. And that's why we have a dedicated phone link to the smart glasses. So in the business, there's a couple of companies that went and decided to just do the smart glasses. And it, the issue with that is that first, the processing power of just the smart glasses is a bit uh, low to actually do good video conferencing. And whenever you're in places when there is no Wi-Fi, then you come into a struggle. So by having able to have a phone, it connects directly the network to the phone. Uh, and many of our use cases are in, in places where the network are not, not perfect. So um, I'll try to run through a couple of use cases to, to give you an idea of, of exactly how, how we work. So um, Networkware is one of our, our projects here in the UK that we're, we're really happy about. Um, and we call it emergency maintenance. So meaning something comes up um, and you, you, we have to, tr to find a solution straight away. So uh, Networkware takes care of maintenance of the rails. Um, they don't take care of maintenance of the train, but they take care of maintenance of the rails. And uh, we all know about the red signal. If any of you take the, 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 the tube, uh, it happens quite often, red signals. Um, so this comes on the rail. And sometimes they, what they do is that they leave the smart glasses directly at junctions where they're used to have issues. And the, pers the first person to arrive is able to put the smart glasses and talk to somebody who, who has the knowledge directly to try to solve the issue. And this happens more and more often with, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about big web, but climate change, you know, more and more um, uh, rails because it's getting colder are not used um, to that specific temperature. And actually people in, um, in the north of, uh, of England know has the skills to solve those issues. And those people are getting called by London, uh, um, by people in, in London. So, um, and enables the instant second opinion of somebody. So you have a whole team because our solution is not only one-to-one. -one, it could be one smart glasses to a multiple of people. So it could be somebody who's in London, also connected somebody who is in Liverpool, um, uh, however you like. Um, the idea is to repair quicker the rail um, as, as it 
it's big cost when, when it's not working, and to share expertise. And we've been going on for a year with Rich Network Realm at the moment. So GSK is uh, one of our new new uh, uh, clients on board. Uh, as you can see, our solution is being used in variety of, of industry. We work with uh, around 150 clients at the moment. Um, GSK is a complete different uh, uh, use cases. It's mainly used um, for collaboration pro processes. So um, different practices are used for from different labs uh, in, in around the world and they don't have necessarily, even if they're building the same uh, product, they don't have the same process and they don't do it the same way. Therefore, the glasses enables teams from over the world to share their knowledge um, uh, and, and walk through certain processes. They have uh, also an interesting QA, so many factories all over the world and they need uh, quality insurance. Um, so what they would do before is send somebody directly in India or, um, or in the US to do that quality insurance. Now they leave the glasses there and they let um, the people already there to do the quality insurance and check if everything is in order. Um, and we also have a project on the robotic side because as you know, they have complicated and expensive machines and when those machines break down, they want to be able to call their suppliers. So SNCF is a, uh, it's a big French uh, company. They um, were are public, but now are moving into private, which is uh, um, a lot of fun. Um, that's why there's a lot of gilets jaunes. Well, part of it, the problem. But um, so SNCF, they maintain the rails. They take care of trains. So they're a combination of network rail and a Virgin, for example. Um, so how they are th their use cases is, is very interesting. Their the idea in the future is to have one pair of glasses in each train. When a train breaks down, the actual driver is able to, um, to, to, to talk to a, an expert and, and help hopefully do some, maintain some maintenance. Uh, at the moment, it's being used in every technical center. So uh, over France, there's maybe 50 technical centers, meaning whenever the train breaks down, it goes into a technical center, gets repaired, and goes back on, on, on track. When, does train, uh, uh, when this train does um, uh, stay on the technical center, we're, we're counting uh, millions of pounds per day because of the, the value of, of it not being running. So by having smart glasses, they're able to alleviate that issue of getting the right person to repair um, to first troubleshoot. And, and there's actually a really cool example. Where actually, that was an issue on the train itself um, between Lyon and Avignon. Uh, the train uh, was starting to derail, so they stopped it. Um, and they, were, they had the, the person who was there didn't have the necessary fear. Putting the smart glasses was able to talk to somebody remotely and they were able to put back the train on rail and, and, and not what they would have done. Usually, they would have taken everybody off the train repair the train and then and that costs a lot of, uh, of cost because you have to of course pay back uh, all the passenger so this is not really for for in, in the industry space of course it's uh, the nhs was um, but i think it, it gives you an idea of what how the solution is being used and as you can see all the different use cases are, are different and we are not bringing use cases to the clients they are using us as a tool and and then it comes it's up to them to to find out how they can use it but in the a nhs we have two interesting uh, uh projects um from the patients to um i mean the nurses to the patient. So the nurses um, have the glasses and the same way they will talk to doctors to do maybe routine checkups instead of, because doctor's time, they whenever they're traveling, it get it get counted as a, as a cost for the NHS because they are working, traveling to go somewhere. Um, so they, they don't see as many patients as they can with our solution. Um, and another project that is not up there, but it's with the Aintree Hospital in, in Liverpool, which is really exciting is actually they want to be able to assess doctor performance in surgical or also in uh, GPs in the way they uh, give news to their clients, assess how um, the patient is, is uh, responding. So, they so it's an assessment tool. So throughout university, because Aintree is a, is, a, is a university hospital, they want to assess with our smart glasses. So that project is at the beginning, but I think it's uh, uh, really exciting. So I want to give you a, a, a last use case of uh, Danfos, which is a manufacturer of um, a heating equipment um, around the world. And you'll be able to see it real life. We just did this video. So if I'm able to play it, there we go. Um, So these glasses are the ODGs, uh, one, one of our glasses. And therefore, so the manufacturing is in, uh, is in France, as you see, but the technical center is, is in India. So 
So as you see, there's two ways of communicating and, and uh, sometimes it's remotely controlled from the person on his laptop remotely controlling the glasses or it can be done on the other side. Him, the, the engineer is able to also control what he's, uh, uh, what he's doing. So um, we have a stand, we have a booth. So if you guys want to come try the glasses, because there's a lot of talking and uh, you'll, you'll be able to um, just down there and we'll be happy to give you a demonstration of, of the glasses. And if you have uh, any remaining question, you can ask me now or, or definitely by the booth. Thank you very much.